Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Ninja Cheeto here. Tonight we will be having a maintenance on PSO2, bringing the all-new Gunblade Class Slayer. I'll be going over some reminders you might want to take care of, because with this maintenance, some campaigns will be expiring, some scratches, and as well I will give you all some reminders over weekly trades to do. There is timestamp chapters in the video play scrub bar, as well in the video description, to help you get the info you need from this video faster. So, let's jump into it. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to talk about going away this week is going to be the NGS Mission Pass Season 18. This is going to be expiring with maintenance, so this is your last chance to progress any of the tiers that you have in this. As well, uh, up here at the top left, if you was to go to previous season, you can actually still view Season 17, and you can go through here and claim any items that you want to from pre uh, the previous Season 17. And uh, after maintenance, Season 18 is actually going to be taking this previous season slot, so you won't be able to claim anything from the previous Season 17 anymore. And then 18 is going to move over there and you won't be able to progress the tiers any longer. Now, if you need to progress the tiers and you you can't progress the tiers any further via like daily orders and weekly tasks and stuff like that, you can always purchase tiers up here on the top left. And they cost 25 star gems each. So if there's something in the listing here of the prize that you're really close to and you want to get a hold of, you can make sure that you can uh, just progress your tier with the star gems there. Now, I do like to usually mention that there's a couple of good things to get a hold of in the mission pass here. Uh, on tier 26, for example, in the gold portion was the motion dash wings red pink. And uh, this is actually a really good motion that you can get a hold of from the mission pass. Now, something else I'm going to mention as well, there's always, of course, the free shop, three day free shop that you can get here. This is really good for you free to play players that don't normally have a shop active. Uh, but on tier 20 in particular, there's one that we're going to mention here. Now, tier 20 gives a refined form R ticket. Now, the refined form R ticket can actually be used to pick anything that you want from the listing on the recent revival SG Scratch refined form revival. And you actually have until April 25th to use this here ticket. So don't feel rushed to use it just right away if you don't want to, but you can pick anything you want to out of the prize listing here with that. Now, something else that will be going away as well with the maintenance is going to be the SG Scratch Volcanic Heart. So we've been having daily SG scratches for this for free, so you've been getting items from this for a while. And inside of the, pri the prize listing, we actually, the previous mission pass, we actually got a select what you want ticket here. Uh, so make sure that you go through and use your select what you want ticket if you've been scratching on this. Make sure it's your last chance to scratch for anything that else that you need in here. Uh, go through your prize listing and see what you want to use your ticket on. So something else that's going to be coming to an end with maintenance is going to be the Spring 23 Special Scratch. So if you was running the previous this previous Spring 23 event, then you was getting a hold of these Special Scratch tickets. Uh, you should, if you've been scratching on this, and you should have been getting a Spring 23 SP Select ticket. As well, uh, any scratch tickets, any select tickets, make sure that you use them on the scratch because that's going to be going away. There's a lot of really cool stuff here in the prize listing. So make sure you go through and just choose all the stuff that you need with the tickets that you have. So this is going to be your last chance you have to use your seasonal points at Yandy. So the Yandy point trade is going to be going away. So make sure that you all get over here and use the, any points that you have remaining. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remind you all about weekly reminders for trades. The simple stuff that you should be doing every week anyways, but uh, hey, reminders never hurry. I know before making these videos, I forgot this stuff all the time, so this helps me out too. So the first shop over here on the left, the item trader Travis, we've got several things we're going to be doing here. First one we're going to go to is the item exchange. Now, if you go to the very bottom down here, in augmentation success rate 10%, you can get three of these. You want to make sure that you trade in for all three. You can trade in for, it's going to take you a total of 30 gold prim swords, which are pretty cheap on the player markets if you don't have a stockpile already. I got a ton of these from running the event quest recently. Now up next, you're going to go to item exchange Stia, and towards the middle of the listing here is going to be Out Secret of Four. Now the Out Secret of Four, you can trade in for 10 of these a week, and these are considered one of the best in-game uh, min-max best in slot augments because of the raising your maximum floor as well it raises your max damage uh, min max damage it's really good they're really good capsules a lot of people really like these now as well you can also go to the Aegis, Aegis Integra exchange now the Aegis Integra exchange they actually updated just recently to where you can trade in for a total of 10 weapons now you can trade in for a total of uh, 10 Aegis Integras now and then you can uh, you can trade in for your like your various like Aegis souls or ill dominoes and Rustia dominoes and so forth you can go out there and make your health alleys and whatnot so make sure you trade in for this stuff. Now, another trade we will be mentioning is going to be at the item lab a technician. If you go to the item lab and you go down to the very bottom, there's an option for exchange enhancement materials. And then if you go to other enhancement materials, we have an option here for arms refiner too. 
So you want to trade in for your arms refiner too. You can only trade in for two of these a week, and these help you to plus 60 your weapons and armor, which is extremely important at the end game. Now, one more trade we're going to mention is going to be the Alliance Activity Support NPC Tim. If you've been doing your Alliance tasks, with their, which there's currently tasks for being in an Alliance, and limited time tasks for doing Alliance tasks, and yeah, there's totally tasks for tasks right now. But if you've been doing this stuff, there's an exchange for Alliance badge, and inside of here, you want to exchange for the Battle of Halfia Lake. Usually, these are worth a lot of money. You can sell them in the player shops. Or you can run them with your team or your friends, or you can try to just go out there and solo, whatever. You can try to get a hold of some uh, some Slayer gun blades, perhaps, for the Neos. Uh, so they're definitely worth getting hold of these and probably selling them in your player shop or just whatever. Just make sure you uh, get them. Okay, so lastly, we're going to get you all some star gems here. Going to base PSL2 and getting star gems from the casino. Well, this is something I like to recommend every people to do every week. Now, if you go to, if you're wondering how to get the base PSL2, if you go to a Ryuker, any Ryuker in the game, and if you go to block transfer and up at the very, very top, there's a transfer to base PSL2 block. Now, PlayStation users, PSL2 is a separate download from NGS, so you're gonna have to download the game separately. Uh, I would definitely suggest doing it though, because base PSL2 has a lot of really good story. Base PSL2 will give you a lot of rewards that you can use in NGS as well. Now, alternatively, another way for you to get the base PSL2 is going to be from the character selection screen via, so once you select your ship, and after you've selected your ship, it takes you to the character select screen. Whenever you select your character, you have an option for PSL2 NGS or an option for base PSL2. We're going to go ahead and go to there. Okay, so upon logging into base PSL2, it's going to throw you here in the middle of the ARC ship lobby. If you turn around, you should be facing an elevator right here that says it'll take you to the shopping plaza. And if you go in here and hit the button, and then you can just jump down. And if you turn directly around, you'll be facing the casino entrance. And if you go inside of here, now, over to the left, once you're inside of the casino, if you run, there's a prize attendant over here, Chip. Now, towards the bottom, uh, they have exchange for limited exchange prizes, and you can exchange for star gems here. Usually, I just trade them for the 10 star gems. It just depends on how many casino coins you have. This is actually, like, for weekly trades, this is kind of like the best casino to uh, casino coin to star gem ratio. But you can actually trade in for all of this too, which costs quite a bit more. But you can actually do this per ship. So I have a character on all four ships, so I can actually do this on all four ships. So I can actually do this on all four ships. Now you're probably wondering where do you get the casino coins from? Now, if it's your first time at the casino, if you come over to the casino staff, Alan right here, they have some tasks for you that you can do. It'll give you a couple of casino uh, coin passes for the first time. Now, uh, to, once you have the passes, you actually take them to this little machine right here, this bull dragon, and you can spin. And I've got some on me, I'll just go ahead and spend some here, we'll see what it gives me. And he'll just spit out like a random amount, at least 500, sometimes I'll give you more. You can see we just got like 500 there. Now another way that you can get a hold of these casino coin passes is via doing daily orders back in base PSL2. We'll go ahead and show you all how to do that real quick. Now again, here we are back in base PSL2. If we are to run over to the left, there is a daily order attendant over here. And you can do it every time that you do a daily order, you actually get some casino coin. Usually what I do is I go down towards the bottom. And there's normally like gathering items down here for, uh, for like gathering like inside a quest. Uh, throughout the throughout the listing, there's also usually like some collect quests that you can send a little support partner out on in your room. Uh, but usually I'll grab some collect orders. And you can see I have some stocked up here already too. I think one of these is actually the, the one for this week. That's why I didn't show one down there for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and you can see on the in the middle of the page, I have 194 of this item already collected because I just, I kind of collect these ahead of time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn in one item. And this one item is going to clear for a daily order for this character. And if I uh, hit the button here, we'll claim it. You'll see that we got a casino coin pass times five, which is a minimum of 500 casino coins. So yeah, the, that right there is something that you can actually you can actually do this uh, for each character that you have too. So if you have more than your three free characters, uh, each each character that you have can get the casino coins every day. Okay, so let's go to wrap it up for today. Are you all excited about playing the new Gunblade class Slayer after maintenance? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. See you in the next one.